Morning Prayer on Tuesday, March the 2nd. Today is St Chad's Day. St Chad is most well known for being Bishop of Lichfield in the 7th century. He was a missionary to the ancient kingdom of Mercia, which covers a large part of what we call the Midlands today. But before he came and uh, ministered to the people of the Midlands, he was from Northumberland. He was educated by St Aidan on Lindisfarne and went on for a time to become the Bishop of Northumbria. So today we celebrate St Chad. We begin this time of prayer with the acclamation of Christ at the dawning of the day from common worship. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Visit us with your salvation, and sustain us with your gracious spirit. O come, let us sing to the Lord, let us heartily rejoice in the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving, and be glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. Come, let us worship and bow down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Sovereign God, Creator of all, to you be praise and glory for ever. You founded the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are the work of your hands. In the fullness of time you made us in your image, and in these last days you have spoken to us in your Son Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts. Your Spirit ever renew our lives, and your praises ever be on our lips. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. We continue with one of the Psalms for today. Psalm 50. And again, I'm going to use the paraphrase as I did yesterday by Jim Cotter in his book, Through Desert Places, published by Cairns Publications. The refrain, your eyes are fierce with love, your hands are gentle in judgment. From the midst of the glory of the sun, from the mountain top of your appearing, you come to us in perfect beauty, the judge of the earth doing all things well. You come to us, you do not keep silent, you sear us with the flames of your truth, you devour the chaff of our sins. Awesome is this face of your love. We have failed to worship you in truth, we have been disloyal to your covenant, content with repeating mere words, self-important in the display of our ceremonies. We have not obeyed your will, colluding with those who thrive, thieve and betray, loosening our tongues in slander and gossip, even lying against kith and kin. Open our eyes and ears, O God, we who have been so blind and deaf, seduced by the glamour and dazzle around us, 
lulled by the weavers of magic with words. No better are we than your people of old, seeking to please you with a smoking burnt sacrifice, thinking you'd relish animals' flesh, that this was the worship you sought. But all the beasts of the forest are yours, and so are the cattle on a thousand hills. You know all the birds of the air, the grasshoppers of the field are in your sight. Your eyes are fierce with love. Your hands are gentle in judgment. You own the very gifts that we bring you. All things have come to us from out of your hand. You give them to us to enjoy and to share with others in need. Sacrificial love is the altar of worship where you touch the lives of the needy, humbled as we are by all that you give us, judged by those more generous than we. Renew in us the covenant of old. May we be faithful to the promises we made, the vows over gifts to be holy with you, in deed and in truth to follow your way. You thunder so fiercely in love for us. You whisper so gently in judgment lowering the walls of defence that surround our self-centred complaints. So often we live for ourselves, indifferent to the needs of the oppressed, passing by the homeless under the archers, refusing to hear how you judge us through them. Turn us around, compassionate judge. Show us the face of your pain, it is we who add to your burden as you endure the cost of redeeming. In the day of our need, we cry out to you, offering our sorrowing hearts, trusting that you will forgive us and refine us in the flame of your love. Our New Testament reading is from the Gospel of John, chapter 6, verses 52 to Jews quarrelled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. These things he said while teaching in the synagogue at Capernaum. respond with the words of the Benedictus. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised 
up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hand of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Let's now pray. We pray for ourselves, thinking about this coming day, the things that we need to do, that we want to do, and those people that we will speak to, those conversations. Let's bring those before our Lord now, asking that we may live every moment by the power of his spirit and to his praise and glory. We pray for our world, we pray for our country, we pray for our local community, Lord we ask that your will may be done in each of these spheres, that your kingdom will come, that you will graciously bless our community, our country and this world. Let's pause for a moment to bring any specific needs to God now in prayer. We also pray for the church, the life of the church. A prayer written by Jim Cotter based on Psalm 50. Come, live in Christ with burning coals and purge our lips. Come with the judgment that saves and give us back our sense of worth because because it matters what we do. Come with passionate desire and sweep us into your arms. Come with the love that will not let us go. Lord, we pray for your church in this place, ourselves, 
we pray for the church in this country and in the world that Lord we may be refined we may become more and more your holy people that we may be instruments of your will and blessing to our communities our country and the world Lord hear us Lord graciously hear us special prayer for today being St Chad's Day. Almighty God, from the first fruits of the English nation who turned to Christ, you called your servant Chad to be an evangelist and bishop of his own people. Give us grace so to follow his peaceable nature, humble spirit and prayerful life that we may truly commend to others the faith which we ourselves profess. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Trusting in the compassion of God as our Saviour taught us, so we pray, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and for ever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>